lot of people have been wondering how you set a state tree for a character that you spawn in at runtime, and I think I found a way that works. Now this tutorial assumes you've already created your state trees and you're already trying to spawn them in and you've just gotten stuck at that specific at that specific step. We're not going from zero to 100 here. We're just addressing one specific issue. So let's get started. Now I'm in my character blueprint that I would be spawning in to the level. And what we need here is a mechanism for determining which state tree should be used. I'm gonna use an enum, but you can use whatever you wanna use. So I'm going to come into my content drawer, right click blueprint and hit enumeration. I'm just going to name this enemy types and I'm going to open the enemy types file and I'm just going to have three types of enemies. I'll just keep it simple and name them type one. Type Sheesh, can't type today. Type two. And type three. And after that's done, we can close this file. We won't need it anymore. But within our character blueprint, uh, we're going to go to the left panel under variables, hit the plus button. And I'm just going to name this variable type. And this type of variable is going to be the enum that we just created. So we can search for enemy types select that and we want to make sure this is instance editable and we can expose it on spawn so that way when we spawn in the character using the spawn actor node we have the option to set the type that it's going to be and so now off of my event begin play i am going to hold control drag out type and i'm going to search for switch so we're going to be switching based off the type of enemy that this is. Under type one, I'm gonna drag off and search for state tree. Um, now you want add state tree. And I failed to mention that for this to work, if you look in your uh, left side of the editor under the components tab, you do need to have a state tree component already added to this actor. Um, it's okay for it to be none. As you can see, mine is set to none. So you, the component just needs to be there. And you'll notice when you highlight this add state tree component node, you have the option to set the state tree that's going to be added. So I'm just going to select my first enemy type. And off of this return value, I'm going to find set state tree. And that's going to reference this state tree component that's already in this blueprint. So that's all you really need to do. Um, of course, I'm gonna repeat this. I just highlighted and hit Control D to make duplicates. Made too many duplicates. Um, off of type two, we can make that a different type of state tree. And off of type three, we'll make that the final type of state tree. That's all you need to do in your character blueprint. All you've done is given the engine a way to determine which state tree should be used. And uh, based off of a enum in this case, um, the blueprint is going to make that decision based off the enum. So that's simple enough. Uh, the last thing you need to do is wherever you're spawning these characters, whether that's your level blueprint or you actually have a a spawn manager working in the background uh, wherever you're calling the spawn actor node spawn actor from class you'll now notice that oh, first we got to compile the base enemy blueprint you now notice that if you search for the class of your character blueprint mine is called base enemy you have the option to set the type which references the enum and so yeah when this character gets spawned into the world it'll look at that type variable and decide which state tree component should be added so that's simple enough now i did briefly also just want to mention how i found this answer um because i think it's something y'all should know so since state trees are new there's already not a ton of documentation out there on them um, when you can't find something that you're looking for should always try to abstract out at least one level and 
search for the answer in more general terms, right? So when I searched for how to set state tree at spawn and didn't find any answers, I thought, what is a state tree? And it turns out state tree is just a actor component. And so when I searched how to set an actor component on spawn, I found an answer that was close enough that I was able to figure out how to do this. As always, let me know if you have any questions and I just put out a video on a pretty simple way to make better games. So I'd appreciate it if you check it out. Peace.